Basically, what we observed due to the El Nino phenomena is that Zambia received below average rainfall, um, affecting 84 out of the 116 di districts across the country, concentrated in the southern uh, half of the country. And within that context, we've seen that 1 million hectares of planted crop has completely failed, and we're not expecting anything out of that. So what that, what that has done essentially is to reduce the production of the step of food, which is the maize of the country, so threatening the country's uh, food security. Around that same time, we also ha had been expecting that households would have the coping capacities, if the rainfall had been adequate, for them to uh, subsist uh, on the greens. But because of the dry spell, uh, people are in need of urgent humanitarian assistance. So in response to the drought, which is essentially the worst at least 40 years, what the government has done is has come up with a comprehensive drought response plan. And what the drought response plan essentially is doing for the country, number one, is to ensure that immediate food assistance is provided to 6.6 million people. So in the 84 districts, the data indicates that 9.8 million people are adversely affected. However, 6.6 .6 million people require immediate food assistance for a period of at least 14 months. But in order to build resilience and recover early, the government is putting in place disaster risk reduction initiatives that can enhance the country's coping mechanism and coping capacities, but also to prom promote food security in future. What we observe from there is that the country is now targeting interventions at water harvesting, putting in place very robust interventions to harvest adequate rainwater as it hits the country's soils. Not only are we focusing on harvesting of water, there is also a, a very, very strategic initiative to make use of the water whilst it's been uh, harvested. And that involves irrigation schemes and irrigation mechanisms targeting small-scale farmers as well as commercial farmers. So we uh, appreciate a very comprehensive and robust uh, program that the government has put in place. But the cost of this program runs to around 941 uh, million United States dollars. So the payout that the country anticipates from uh, the African risk capacity essentially will come to complement already existing intervention and efforts for the government. So it's part of the entire sort of resource mobilization initiative. We know that disasters have the potential to disrupt country's developmental trajectory by uh, siphoning resources or taking resources away from developmental projects. So with the payout, we anticipate that the country will continue uh, to finance some of the long-term development projects as it uses the payout to support livelihoods of a, a decent number of people that are affected by the drought.